everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenna and hi, hello, hi, how are you? Um, okay, so today we are recreating three different popular Instagram photos. Well, Instagram photo styles. Not specific photos, but like we're we're working with what we're seeing. Actually, pretty much, yeah, exactly. Um, basically, what I'm doing today is I am doing three different photo shoots of completely separate styles. Really popular things that I keep on seeing all over my Instagram, and I wanted to play around with my content and just you know, fashion and photos and create these popular things. If you're new here, welcome. I'd love for you to subscribe if you want to and check out my Instagram. Whenever I'm scrolling on the gram, I constantly see a bunch of like the same sort of photo and that really sparked my like, hmm, I kind of want to try this. So the three popular things that we are creating today is one, I like to call this, it's sort of like the new take on like the boho girl, bohemian look. I will pop a bunch up on the screen. It involves a hat, it involves like flowers and nature and you know, like outdoors things. I am a big fan of a statement accessory, especially if it's a statement hat. So we are taking all of these photo inspirations and doing this like, new version of the bow. I don't know what you actually call this, but boho queen in her uh, trendy hat as her crown. That works. The second Instagram style we are attempting to do is the bad bitch, bougie, sporty, chic, Oh my gosh, yesterday I swear I came up with a great name for this and it's just like not in my head right now. This is literally all of the like Instagram model influencer type of look. So we're talking Nike Air Force Ones. We are talking athleisure. It's that squat pose. It, baddie, baddie. That's a word that fits this. Anyway, you know that like signature like squat, like looking really cool, showing off the kicks? That is what we are basing this second style off of. And then the third and last one, I don't know if this is like something that's been going on a, like for a while, but I've seen it a ton all over my feed is the use of like a ladder. And I also find that it's always like the really creative accounts that do this. They usually play with a lot of color, play with a lot of props. And when I saw this, I was like, I have a ladder. I am so curious what it's going to be like shooting on that, so let's try it. My goal with this one is colorful, outside of the box, trying something new. I mean, in no world would I typically feel the need to take photos on a, a ladder, but this really just like sparked my curiosity, so we are trying that as well. All right, let's jump into the first photo shoot. Okay, so for the like bohemian, one, I have this, I think it's Free People. Yeah, I have this long sleeve Free People dress that might work. Let's try it on and see. For this shoot, I wasn't totally sure what I wanted to wear besides the hat. That was like my main item. I tried on a few different other dresses and options. I don't know if I love it though. I don't love the fit of it on me. But I ended up choosing this Amazon dress. Okay, like who is she? I don't know. I couldn't tell ya. So this I think is what we are working with. When by Amazon dress, I mean like I bought it on Amazon. I can link it down below if it's still available. It was super affordable and it's really cute. And then the hat is a navy blue. I don't know what kind of hat you call it, but it's from Urban Outfitters. I got it on sale like a really long time ago. And then I paired it with these Steve Madden platform sandals. On my camera, I have one that connects to an app on my iPad so I can use self timer and like focus the photos and take the photos using that. So I held onto my iPad and I snapped a ton of photos. Okay, so this is the spot I think is gonna work great. I have my camera set up to my iPad and I'm gonna control it that way and attempt to, I guess, hide the fact that I'm holding this giant iPad. I don't know. And let's take some photos. I 
I will say, um, everyone in my neighborhood definitely drove past, walked past, and saw me doing this. So that was really cool. Um, <laughs> Uh, I overall really happy with the way that this turned out. There's definitely like a learning curve when you're shooting yourself. It would be so much faster and easier if I had someone there to take the photos for me, but that's not realistic. And I think that the photos still turned out incredible. These are the final images for shoot number one. I think we definitely accomplished the goal and ended up with some really cool photos. On to shoot number two. For this one, I just got a new pair of Nike Air Force Ones. They're my first pair. They're white, black, and like this like neon yellow. And I have my Lululemon Fanny Pack Everyday Belt Bag. I think it's Everyday or Everywhere Belt Bag. I forget the name. I'll link it down below, of course. I paired that and then I had a long pair of biker shorts and just like a Lululemon oversized cropped tee. And that was the fit. I also had like a baseball cap and my sunglasses, my Ray-Bans to add like a little bit of variety. So this is the fit. Also have a hat if I'm feeling really like sporty spice, but I don't love it. But that's also because it's very much like not my style. So, I have some ideas for the poses. Let's just jump right into that. My camera is right behind this camera. So let's begin. <laughs> I am shocked at how difficult it is to take that squatting pose photo like all the girls on Instagram just make it like you know you just pop down you squat and there it is perfect great it's a way way harder than I thought also when I was shooting it was like golden hour but it was so hot out I was struggling way more than I thought I would a lot of my photos ended up being like out of focus or overexposed, but I ended up with these photos and I think that they turned out awesome. And I definitely think we nailed it for this like Instagram theme idea. The third and final style that we are recreating is the ladder. I wore this two piece set from Urban Outfitters. It used to be a dress, but then I cut it in half through an elastic band in the waist and then made it into a two piece set. I paired it with my white platform vans and of course the main accessory piece of this the ladder I don't know what this trend is but I've been seeing a lot of ladder photos lately and like I don't know it's a thing apparently so we're doing it This one was really difficult to shoot as well, setting up the shot. There were a lot of pieces to juggle and trying to climb up the ladder and make sure I was in the frame and in focus. It was really hard. This one would have been so much easier if I had someone there to help me or if I had the app on my phone to control my camera instead of on my iPad because then I could like hide it or tuck it away a lot easier. I love the creativity that goes into a lot of influencers on their photos and creating new things and new ideas and turning like unlikely photo opportunities into really incredible photos. These are the photos that I ended up with from this shoot. Honestly, I don't love them. I think that the background was just too green for my liking and by that point in the day, the sun was pretty much set, so I didn't have great lighting either. If I had done it in front of like a brick wall or like a plain wall, I think it would have turned out like 10 times better. 
but you work with what you got and the photos by no means are bad. Logistically, the latter was the hardest to recreate. Pose-wise, the Insta baddie was really difficult to do. Overall, my favorite is definitely the first one that we recreated. If you have any ideas of popular Instagram photos that you want me to recreate, comment down below and let me know. I'm so curious always. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.